makes you think how small our global village is, and it makes you wonder what makes these uh, hundreds of Australian and Afghanis go listen to music under the banner of a Jewish boy from Encino, California. And I think the answer is that decent people all over the world do, cannot let evil win. And they understand that music is the weapon. I think one of the compelling things about the connection between Daniel Pearl and music was Danny himself was a musician, he played violin, and he enjoyed music of every genre. He made friends in the music world wherever, wherever he went. Wherever, whatever part of the world he was in, he always tried to play music and get to know the musicians wherever he was, whether it was in a far eastern country or London or Europe, wherever, wherever he, his assignments took him, he always tried to become involved in the music scene. Uh, he had a lot of friends in the music world and uh, he, was a, he was able to cross many boundaries in his own career, in his brief lifespan, through music. He was able to meet people and communicate with people because they shared an interest in music. An interest in music. And I think that uh, that it itself has proven to be a, a unifying factor, the fact that, that so many countries all over the world, Arab-speaking countries, Muslim, Muslim countries, Israel, Europe, everywhere have concerts every October to celebrate the life of somebody who is such a, a wonderful reporter a wonderful journalist and at the same time realized how music could cross borders. Never was this saga chanted in so powerful a rhyme. My name is Daniel Pearl, softly spoken from the den, softly from Karachi, Pakistan. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, so the Bible tells us, no wound was found in him, because he stood his ground, because he stood our ground, so the Bible tells us. Uh, we had planned to do the Kohelet uh, by Ahmed Avaloni, that was our main work, and that's a, a piece that uh, is from the book of Ecclesiastics, and it talks about the meaning of life, and what is the meaning of life, that's the general um, um, theme throughout the whole piece, and uh, and is is what what is what is life here? Uh, and uh, there's a time to be born, a time to die. The famous words from that, and um, and is is this all there is? Beauty is fleeting, and and all that. So that was the main piece of the work. And then I had two wonderful soloists, and I wanted to somehow incorporate. Uh, who Daniel Pearl was and, and make some kind of connection. So since Daniel was a violinist, we opened with a piece called uh, Kaddish uh, by R Maurice Ravel, and it was written for a voice, a cantor, and it also has been performed by a, li by a violinist. So what we did, what I did, was I arranged it so that the singer, the cantor, sang some of it, and then also the violinist played. So it was a beautiful way to open up the um, the concert.